Joining me right now is Nick Mattingly from Switcher Studio, and we're talking about options for going live on YouTube from mobile. YouTube has made it unavailable for people with less than 1,000 subscribers to their channel to go live uh, through the mobile app, but there's other ways to get from your mobile phone or from a remote location into uh, YouTube. Can Switcher Studio work? from a mobile phone for channels that don't have at least a thousand subscribers uh, yes absolutely so with as you mentioned if you are inside of the YouTube app where you would normally watch content there's a button where you can go live uh, and initially when they launched that you had to have a lot of followers and, and over time they kind of backed that down and for a while it was available to anyone so using the native YouTube app uh, you could go live right from YouTube and uh, I guess there's recently been some changes where you have to have at least a thousand followers or more on your channel already before you can use that native function. Uh, however, with Switcher and, and Switcher Studio, you can link your YouTube account. And in doing that, uh, you, you'll have to enable the feature from your youtube.com slash features page. If you haven't done that before or used YouTube um, prior to that, you'll have to go through that process first. There's a little bit of a wait time. But once you've done that, uh, you're good to go. And you can open the Switcher app and go live directly from Switcher straight to YouTube. Uh, if you are doing things on other channels, you could link up your Facebook account. And we also support RTMP, which works with lots of different platforms as well. So you, you pick where is best for you. But if you're doing YouTube, uh, you can do it with Switcher. Right. And one of the bonuses of, of getting comfortable using Switcher as a production platform is you have integration with Facebook Live as well. Right. Uh, and, and with Facebook, you can see comments that are coming in uh, from those videos. We have a new professional plan. And in a few months, uh, we're also going to have the ability to feature those comments. So you can pull out kind of the best of and show those on screen. And that professional plan also supports video chat. So from your online account, you can log in to switcherstudio.com and get a link that you can share out. So where we're having this conversation today, you could do something very similar uh, with Switcher with a remote guest or someone that is at a different location. And, and all they do is click the link. They don't have to install anything. They can use it right. on iPhone, Android, Mac, PC, uh, any, anything with a modern browser. Now, for businesses that are used to using the mobile phone to go live and maybe aren't, uh, doing a lot of technical stuff on the side. They've just been hitting that go live button on, on YouTube. What is involved uh, if they're just, you know, going live with one phone to get started using Switcher Studio? Um, what, what is involved for them to learn? And what are a few of the features that they would be excited to add that are pretty easy to get started with that, you know, maybe they never even thought of going live straight from the mobile app? Yeah, so uh, with, with Switcher, we really want to help people make better video more often. And if we look at what you'd normally do with a native app, it's point and shoot for the most part, whether that's Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. If you're using your phone, uh, it's really easy to get up and going, but you're kind of limited to whatever's in the frame. Uh, and on the other side of that, to get something that has a lot of production value, typically there's a lot of equipment involved and capture cards and cameras, and it's really hard to take that out and, and go really mobile and so where switcher is unique is that it allows you to use your phone uh, or an ipad and with just the one device you could switch from the camera to a photo or a pre-recorded video or you could brand your content and put your, your logo on screen uh, there's animated templates that are built into switcher so you could have your name or a call to action if you're trying to push people towards your website or getting them to sign up for your blog uh, and as you start moving between these different components, it really pulls the viewer along. It's a lot more interesting than just a static one camera shot. And uh, coming out of that, you've got something that, that looks really great uh, that is going to have more engagement. It's going to help you build relationships with your audience. And because it's so easy uh, and when you're done, you're done, it's really easy to get back to work. Uh, and if you want to do another video, it's really easy to jump right in and, and do another one. So having that frequency to your content uh, can be a big driver in, in helping you grow your online audience. So ease of, what I'm hearing is ease of use. I'm hearing that, you know, you actually add better quality to your production with different features and uh, using the camera, your, your phone beyond just the point and shoot capabilities. Um, how do people get started with Switcher if they don't have an account yet? How can they get going with Switcher Studio? Yeah, if, uh, if you're new to Switcher, check out our website, switcherstudio.com. 
and there's a free 14 day trial that'll give you full access to everything on the professional plan. And if you decide to stick with it, you can upgrade from there. So there's a personal and professional plan. Personal is 39 a month. Uh, professional is 75 a month. And then we also have a switcher for team solution that's for mid-sized businesses or larger established brands that might have uh, a group of people that are collaborating and creating content. Uh, or maybe they want to do group video chat or they want to share assets across their team. Uh, that That's for larger organizations, but also something that we offer for companies that want to standardize how they're making their social video across their organization. Now on your, your enterprise plan, can that be uh, either internal video or live streamed video or how does that work? Exactly. Uh, it, it, it could be live on YouTube, Facebook, you know, social channels like, right. like you would with the normal switcher app, but that's also recorded. So as soon as you're done, it's available on your device to repurpose and use for other content. And we're also a partner with Microsoft Stream. So where, where you might have Office 365 with Word, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, Microsoft Stream is now commercially available with a, a live video function. And so you can use Switcher to stream and create content for meetings, presentations, company announcements, and have that limited to your organization. Well, while we're on the, the business side of things, um, you guys have been chosen one of the partners with uh, LinkedIn for their new live uh, video uh, opportunity, which is slowly rolling out at this point. Talk about uh, your YouTube, uh, rather your LinkedIn connection and, and, and how that's going to work. Yeah, we are very, very excited to, to be able to talk about this. Uh, we've been working with LinkedIn behind the scenes for a while now, and uh, just within the past month, they have announced uh, beta access to LinkedIn Live. And that allows you to take your personal page or a uh, page for your company that you manage and actually do live video posts. And so right now it's uh, invite only and uh, they're being very selective about who has access. You may have seen some videos from Bill D. Chan or Chris Strub. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both using Switcher and there's, there's a few others out there as well. And um, anticipate this to be opened up slowly to, to more and more people. But uh, Switcher, again, has the easy button for LinkedIn Live if you're on the list. Uh, and actually next week, we're going to be publishing some changes so that you can get on the wait list for LinkedIn Live. So if you have a Switcher account and mm -hmm. you go to link, uh, LinkedIn, it's going to redirect you to a, a page where you can uh, get, get in their system and uh, it, at least uh, you know, be, be there waiting for them on their side. Well, I'm excited about that for sure. And um, then when you connect to LinkedIn, it's just like connecting to YouTube or Facebook. You don't need a stream key or, you know, RTMP and that kind of stuff, getting in all that technical stuff. Yeah, yeah. You you log in once and then from there you just hit the big red button and uh, you can you can load up all your photos, videos, branding assets and, and edit while you shoot. Uh, we make it really easy. So now for going live on YouTube um, without sort of the easy button of the mobile app where you just hit it and you go live and you don't think about where it's going or where the page is going to be or anything like that, what does somebody need to do on the YouTube side? You mentioned that they have to get access and it takes a few days. What do they need to do on the YouTube side so that um, they're set up for going for going live from from uh, their device through Switcher. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll see if I can shoot you a link. I'm sure we have a video on this, okay. and uh, it it is really easy. You'll you'll go to um, log into your YouTube account from Switcher. Mm -hmm. So you'll you'll open Switcher and uh, you'll log into your YouTube account, and you'll say, "Yeah, we want to use this to do live right. video." Okay. And and then once you've done that one time, you're set up and, and ready to go. And and again, it's just as easy as it is with our Facebook integration, our LinkedIn integration you hit the big red button. The, the only disclaimer is if you've never done YouTube Live at all, ever mm -hmm. before, uh, whether you're using Switcher or some other encoder or, or system, uh, they do have an approval process. So uh, it, to get approved for that, you can go to youtube.com slash features, mm -hmm. and it has lots of different options around comments and live video and monetization, and you'll just want to make sure that that toggle or checkbox for live video is enabled. Right. And uh, it's normally within 24 hours, they'll have that turned on. So if you haven't done that, that's the only extra step. 
uh, but it's it's really easy and uh, it's youtube.com slash features and it's just another sort of toggle just like when you toggle for uh, you know you have a certain number of subscribers you can toggle to get a custom domain or you can right on other you know features that you might think are automatically a- available if you watch some of the larger channels but actually everybody at a certain point has to turn those things on uh, yeah. and approved by YouTube um, the last question I have for you is um, for people who are used to going live on the mobile app and now start using switcher studio this also opens up the opportunity to bring in guests and not just guests from within the uh, local iOS, uh, you know, Wi-Fi network. Can you can you talk about that? Because that's a relatively, I don't know, about six months, maybe relatively new feature of of uh, Switcher Studio. Yeah. So from from day one, we've had a multi camera component where you could literally pull a stranger off the street, have them download the app, and they could be a part right. of your production. Uh, and, and there's a lot of really cool things about that, and that we can start and stop recordings. We can control the camera settings and quality. Uh, but they do have to be on the same Wi-Fi. So you have to fire up your hotspot or go into the settings on your phone and make sure you're on the same network. Uh, with video chat, you can log into your Switcher account at switcherstudio.com. And under the new plugins and extensions, mm-hmm. you can get a link that you could share out. Uh, and so when you send that to a guest, they just tap it. They don't have to have anything installed. They don't have an existing account. Once they click that link, uh, you will be able to communicate from your online Switcher account uh, with that other person. And once that connection has been established, now from the Switcher app, you can enable video chat. It's going to observe that conversation. So you can see and hear both participants. And you can set up split views where we might have someone on you know, either side of the screen. But you can also choose to go full screen with one or the other or layer in the other uh, elements in Switcher where you might put a logo on screen or someone's name or, or bring up a photo or a video that you might speak to. Right. Uh, so with, with video chat, you just go to switcherstudio.com, make sure you're on the pro plan. Uh, you'll get a link that you can share out and, and you'll start having that conversation. And then the Switcher app can join and, and kind of observe what's happening. And it shows right. up just like any other camera uh, in, inside of the Switcher app. And that'll show up even while, if they join once you're live. You'll just see exactly it as just another option, like clicking a photo or something like that. Right. Yeah, oh. it, it shows up in that same list with all of your other assets. Well, I mean, that's fabulous. So again, uh, Switcher Studio is a tremendous option uh, for live streaming to YouTube, uh, no matter how many uh, followers you have. But certainly if you have under a thousand subscribers and now you need a third party option to stream from mobile, Switcher Studio is a great option. And uh, you can find out more information, livestreamuniverse.com slash resources, livestreamuniverse.com slash resources. And we have uh, resources for streaming to YouTube right at the top of the page. So check out uh, the first one is Switcher Studio at the top of the page. We're big fans. We've talked to Nick a lot. We've talked to Mark Go with. Uh, we've seen Nick at conferences. We've seen demos. We've seen uh, high-level uh, business productions using it. Um, just before we let you go, talk about a couple of uh, you know the exciting clients that you you now have. Yeah, I, within our our uh, standard product, uh, so, some really great ones that you could check out would be something like uh, Dominic with WeStream. The the production quality of the the videos that he does is really really top notch, and he's got to work with. Uh, pretty well-established companies and, and startups. There was one he did recently with a group called ProfitWell and Paddle, and they had a, a interview with the, the two CEOs. And uh, so that was really well-produced. There's uh, one that I really enjoy that's on Periscope uh, called Foamy Homies, and it's a puppet show, and it's kind of blues cluesy, and it's really smart and funny. Uh, so you know, this is just somebody having a good time out there, out there growing their audience. Um, another one is the morning show with brittle star and it's a husband and wife duo and, uh, check them out. So if you, if you go to uh, switcher studio on our social page, uh, we, we share these out when, when we find something cool or, or people are, are, you know, making great videos with switcher on the other side of this, we've had the chance to work with, uh, L'Oreal that's used switcher for recruiting, uh, to, to do videos where they can reach a larger audience online. Uh, Mars has been using Switcher, the, the company makes candy bars, uh, for internal communication. And they recently did a live video with uh, a participant from Korea and the United Kingdom and Vegas. And 
uh, had all of these people communicating at the same time and shared that internally using Microsoft right. Stream. Uh, Golf Channel has used Switcher for behind the scenes, new player warm-ups, fan interactions. Uh, when they get ready to do a big broadcast on Golf Channel on cable, uh, sometimes they'll go live from the studio for a few minutes and say, today we're talking about A, B, and C, and tune right. in at this time. So it's really cool to see uh, the big guys and and people like us that right. uh, are able to pick this up and, and do cool stuff and be successful and uh, go out there and make video again and again and uh, and really have an impact. I, I think what's what's really cool is once people start using Switcher and making video, um, you know, we're, we're all busy and things come up, but if you get in the groove of making content and then for for some reason you don't one day, like people are scratching their heads. They, they right. want, you want you to come back and do more. So where have you been? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's really great to not just touch the people that use our product, but the audiences that they're building. And uh, it's this big ripple effect just to, to see it all, you know, come back and, and help build this really great community. Well, thank you so much, Nick. I know it's uh, busy out there at NAB in Vegas, but we appreciate you spending some time. Uh, you can learn more about Switcher Studio by going to livestreamuniverse.com slash resources, livestreamuniverse.com slash resources, and start on that 14-day trial and see what you can do on YouTube Live from your mobile devices. 